Mort is Kronos. For those of you who do not know what that was, that was the screams of a lost soul, specifically the lost soul of a YouTuber named The Theorizer. There are a slew of YouTubers out there. <laughs> That's so fun to say. Slew of YouTubers out there who take a peculiar pride in peeling back the layers of some of our beloved most cherished childhood shows, cartoons, we may say. Those we thought were innocent fun from Nickelodeon. Ugh. I even hate that that came out of my mouth. Disney, PBS Kids, yep, or really wherever you got your Bikini Bottom news. These creators, Dixie, like they turn our beloved TV shows into this concoction of theories that reveal more than just who stole cookies from the cookie jar. This is not Mrs. Puff. The Paradox Pokemon from Pokemon Violet aren't actually Pokemon. The cutie marks in My Little Pony are not magic. One of the most notorious theorists being Matt Pat. You remember him, right? Oh, Matt Pat, we miss you. Aladdin killed Jasmine. Matt Pat, the ex-host of the Game Theory channel here on YouTube, which the channel pretty much aimed to ruin your childhood with every video they put out. They basically told the audience at the beginning of every video that they were ruining their childhood. But alas, Matt Pat had to hang up his theorizing hat and pass the torch on to a brigade of theorists eager to continue his legacy. This is where the theorizer comes in. One of the creators here on YouTube who is dedicated to following in Matt Pat's footsteps. Now, I'm not saying that theorizer created his channel aiming to follow Matt Pat, but the theorizer He's doing the deed. <laughs> He's doing the deed. He's ruining your childhood. Now, one of his most detailed theory series is around a DreamWorks character by the name of Mort. Yeah, this cutie patootie. And by now, I'm pretty sure you're wondering, well, okay, what does this have to do with what I just witnessed at the beginning of this video? I'm saddened to say that through the theorizer's journey to uncovering Mort's evil plans, he has lost himself in the process, unable to regain his sanity. Just like I'm unable to regain the four hours it took me to witness the theorizer's fall into madness. Music, memes, magic, Madagascar, moon, Mort, mutation, medieval, and of course, Misotheory, the hatred of animals, keeps going and going and going in Markiplier, and it's this is the DreamWorks plot. The catastrophic clash of life and death, of good and of evil, spanning timelines, canons, and dimensions. He's a genetically anomalous mutated super virus that spreads across the multiverse like a pestilence, and he's a damn motherfucking war criminal. You may think we're at the end of the video. We're not. And I'm going to report back on my experience from this marathon. When I was trying to organize my thoughts for this video, I was really trying to create this concise summary of what I learned after watching all of these all of these videos. And I, when I was in that process, I realized how 
I'm still very much confused. So what you're about to hear is a a mumble jumble version of what a concise summary is of what (laughs) what a concise summary of the theorizers mort dreamworks mega super theory okay so (laughs) if you leave this video less sure of yourself still unsure of what you are hearing, still unsure of what the whole premise of these theories were, was, is, you know, these are minutes you can't get back. Just know that. The theorizer started his DreamWorks mega theory journey just trying to look at the Madagascar movies and shows. And after diving more into that, he realized Mort was a little bit smarter than he led us to believe. And after the theorizer started looking more into Mort as a character, he found more reason to believe he was not just a very intelligent animal, but he was evil. And his kryptonite is feet. And this entire time, he has been at war with these uh, god-like things, beings, that control this organization that the theorizer named FEET organization, F-E-E-T. And these are humans on the God's sides, right? On the God's sides that battle intelligent animals. So let me repeat that. We have Mort, an intelligent, evil character whose kryptonite is feet. And Mort is in this constant battle with warriors that work for these gods that are in this feet organization. Okay? So, the people, the humans in this feet organization are always on the hunt to track down intelligent animals. And so the theorizer throughout his theories focus on that main concept of the feet organization and his evidence for this make this mega DreamWorks theory is that within each of the DreamWorks movies, you can see this play out, that there is someone, a human, from the Feet organization attacking intelligent animals. And so the intelligent animals in each of these movies are, I guess, the army of Mort. Mort is the supreme leader of these intelligent animals. So, yeah. I think that's it. (laughs) That's basically it, right? Um, Where I got confused is if, like, which side is evil and which side is good because the theorizer jumps from more being evil. Like, he's set in stone on that at the beginning and then towards the middle he's kind of uh, volleying up this idea that Mort may not be as evil as we thought and he's trying to 
go against this huge organization that is attacking intelligent animals. And then at the end, towards the finale of his mega DreamWorks theory, he again teeters back to the idea that Mort is evil. So that's where I'm like, what? what? Is he good? Is he bad? Is the feet organization good or bad? But then I, I stop myself because I'm like, we are still kind of left in the dark about what they're even fighting over. Like if you take a step back and you realize we have two sides, right? If one wins, what do they get? Is it over power? Is it over land? So that really confused me and it made me kind of take a general look at who the victims are really in this DreamWorks universe. And it is it is the beings that are caught in between. So it's really those being used by either Mort or these gods that are the real victims and that I feel sorry for because they are caught in between this war over we don't even know and it's just this constant battle they have to go go through and I'm unsure if this is kind of something like Planet of the Apes just an animated version you know with Planet of the Apes the the animals intelligent animals took over the planet And humans felt like they were wronged and they needed to regain their power back. And so it started this huge war of intelligent animals versus humans. So (laughs) within the past few days after finishing this marathon of theories... I came to the conclusion that this this is all just really sad. And I feel really bad for everyone caught in between this little lemur and these gods. (laughs) Now, uh, I don't know if that is the right take. I I don't know if you're going to agree or disagree. If maybe there's something else I missed that could assist me in my understanding of what is being played out here, you know, let me know in the comments. And I did notice a lot of people saying that they were wondering if the theorizer, if he was going to expand on this, on this mega theory Because the finale actually wasn't the finale. It was more of like a setup for more theories to come. They were pointing out that um, maybe he's the theorizer is going to look more into other DreamWork movies instead of just limiting his theories to the movies he's already explored. And that doesn't mean that he's going to stop looking at those movies for evidence, but it would be advantageous to this huge theory to include more variety to his theories, which I don't, I don't see why not. I think he would plan to expand on the movies which he does, I did say he mentioned like um, Rise of the Guardians, Kung Fu Panda in this playlist of theories. He only had like one or two videos of each. So these are, I think, movies he's playing around with to see if they actually fit into this huge theory, which is fair. To make a theory, I'm sure it freaking takes a long ass time. So 
he's probably working on it. But yeah, I, I don't see why not. It, w- it would just solidify his theory a lot more if he can search for more evidence within other DreamWork movies, you know? It just makes sense. And remember, these are minutes you can't get back. So if you were not educated on the whole DreamWorks smart theories, entertained, then you know what? I hope you find something on the internet that does that that does that so until next time